you just step out here with us? For what? Because we need to talk to you, so just go ahead and step out here with us. Oh, we can talk right here, right? I'm going to have you step out here. Another day, another police force that does not know constitutional rights. Well, why would I need to step, step out there? Outside. These deputies are with the Sheriff's Department yeah, sure. in Kansas. So, what what you need? I, I don't need anything. I didn't call you, okay, sir. If you don't need anything, you need to leave the building then. What do you mean? Well, if you're not here to conduct business, you need to leave. I am conducting business, sir. I'm conducting constitutionally protected business, sir. And that sir and that ma'am are about to get educated and shamed. I'm going to have a legal question for you right now. Am I being... Okay, am I being detained? No, you're not Okay, thank you, thank you. That's all I need to hear. You know, it's officers like Officer Hughes are. We'll just say that. It's officers like her... That give law enforcement a bad name. And look, we have two more sheriffs arriving for a man with a camera. This interaction began when Long Island Audit, Sean Paul Reyes, one of the top constitutional auditors in America, visited a publicly accessible government building in Geary County, Kansas. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside of the county building here, which houses the treasurer, appraiser, human resource director, commissioners, Register of deeds, etc. As Reyes narrates in a whisper, here goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. There is a question from Sheila, the receptionist. She is calm and polite. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? You wondered in our building. This and this is your building? This is the treasurer's office. Yeah. Are you, this is the treasurer's office that's funded by the people, correct? I don't know. I don't need anything, ma'am. No. Oh, well. You just came in? Is there a reason you came in? It's okay. I'm not just trying to... I'm here to help. Oh, yeah. I don't need any help, ma'am. Thank you. I really appreciate that, though. Thank you so much. Next up, an office manager. She is not nice. Excuse me, ma'am? Can you help me with anything? Who are you? I work here. Why are you recording? We do. The girls... Don't go, don't go well, I'm not recording girls. What uh, what capacity do you work here in your name? What are you doing here? Uh, in what capacity do you work here? I'm and, the office manager. What are you doing? And your name is? I don't need to give that to you. Why wouldn't you? I don't need Isn't to that, that, sir. Do you not work for the... What are you the, recording in here for? Do you not work for well, the people? Why are you recording in here? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, ma'am. I don't want to share any information with you at this yeah. time. She was very rude, whatever your name is. The rude office manager, who does not have a name, could have just asked Sheila over here what my name was and what I was doing. But she wanted to be confrontational. Next up, deputies with the Geary County Sheriff's Department. Hey, how are you guys? Can I have you just step out here with us? For what? Because we need to talk to you, so just go ahead and step out here with us. Oh, we can talk right here, right? I'm going to have you step out here. Why would that be? Can I get your name and badge numbers, please? Yep, we can do that when you step out here. But why would I need to step, step out there? Outside. Are you Are you conducting business in here? Yeah, for sure. What business are I, you I would ask that you de-escalate and identify yourourselves, please. I would just, what you know, you respectfully. Because I don't like Go the way ahead, that... Sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. What business are you conducting here? Uh, Ma'am, what business of that is yours? of yours, to be honest with you? And you're not even identifying yourself to me as a law enforcement officer. My vest identifies who I am. My name tag identifies who I am. I don't know how to pronounce that. So we got that. a call. That's fine. You don't have to know how to pronounce it. We got a call. I mean, I would like that to. you were in here. Yeah. And that you needed to be removed from here. Okay. And, and that's what you're trying to do, correct? Well, I was just trying to talk to you. No, you're, you're trying to order me to leave. No, I said, can you step out here? And I, and I politely refused, and I said, we could talk right here. Okay. And so we could lower our voices and not so interrupt any business. So what do you have here? Oh, I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I'm taking some pictures and video. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Can I get your badge number or anything that... G704 is my badge G704. And, number. And, and, your, and your name, sir, and badge number? I'm Lieutenant Jones, 640. Lieutenant Jones. Thank you, Lieutenant. I appreciate it. All right, so what what you need? I, I don't need anything. I didn't call you, okay, sir. If you don't need anything, you need to leave the building then. What do you mean? Well, if you're not here to conduct business, you need to leave. I am conducting business, sir. I'm conducting constitutionally protected business, sir. Okay. Are you, 
here did you take an oath did you take an oath to uphold the constitution sir are you here at the motor vehicle trying to pay your registration or sure I'm, I'm documenting the motor vehicle as an independent journalist which is a constitutional right afforded to me under the first amendment sir so which is the constitution that you both took an oath to uphold so i'm just all well, i'm respectfully sir i don't want to escalate the situation i'm really just trying to de-escalate it at this time but you telling me to leave a public building that i help fund it's it's you know violate my rights like that i don't appreciate it i don't appreciate the escalation by this officer here you know i feel like this right here is 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 disrupting business yeah I, that's your fault sir no but that's your fault you step on the hallway so we can discuss why you're here and what constitutional whatever you got going on well i don't want to disrupt business sir that's not my intention so we i i, I have no problem you guys can I know, but technically that's your fault, sir, not mine. Business was not halted until you got here, ironically. So, see, this is what you're trying to do again, ma'am. You're trying. I just said just go and stay over until we get this sorted. You're out. trying. We're not trying to make it worse. We're not trying to. You are make, because you're trying to tell. First, you told me to leave the building. You're ordering me to leave the building. You told me to. I said, can you step outside into the hallway? Yeah, when I told you I no, you. no, yeah, you asked okay. me, and then when I told you no, you became very assertive because and tried to tell me. Trying to get in here, trying to do business, and you're disrupting. The you're business. disrupting the business, ma'am. You are not me. And when I'm trying to walk away freely, you're telling me to stay here. So I'm gonna have a legal question for you because right now. We're Am I to being out what's going okay? On right Am I being detained? No, you're not. Okay, being detained. thank you. Thank you. That's all I need to hear. Moments later, two more sheriff's deputies arrive. Hey, sir, how you are know? you? Not too bad yourself. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Good. Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Yep. These Come deputies sir. understood yeah. constitutional rights. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you guys. Thank What's you. your name? My name is Sean. Sean? Nice mm -hmm. to meet you, Sean. Nice to meet you, sir. And after a pleasant and brief chit chat. So, yeah. How long have you been a journalist? Oh, uh, going on two years now. Oh, how do you like it? I love it. Deputy I Garcia encouraged Reyes to keep doing his business. Okay. Appreciate you, man. Garcia, nice yeah, meeting you, day. sir. Hey, Have a good one. Thank you. As the deputies left, Reyes headed into the clerk's office to file a Let's public get... records request. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Sir, are you videotaping? Yes, ma'am. Who are you? I'm the county clerk. Why are you videotaping my office? This is not your office, respectfully, ma'am. Just, uh, what's your name? My name's Rebecca Nordic. I want to know why you're videotaping. Ma'am, there's no, I feel like you're trying to escalate the situation. I'm taking some pictures and video, yes. I am taking some pictures and video. Why? I'm an independent journalist, ma'am. Just taking some pictures and video. That's all. Well, you didn't ask for permission. I don't need your permission. As Reyes filled out the paperwork, the uninformed clerk called the police. Thank you so much. Do you have a pen? Within minutes, as Reyes was outside, the same so sheriff's much. deputies returned. Did you make the mat or something? Excuse me? Did you make the mat or something? I have no idea. Okay, yeah, because they called us back for some reason. Really? Yeah. I think you need to talk to the county clerk because I, yeah, I, I went in I went in to do a open records request. Uh, okay. And she said, Why are you filming? And I told her, I'm an independent journalist, ma'am. I'm just documenting my process of and she got really upset. I got you. So I guess she called you guys back. Yeah. And you guys have to come back, you could just tell her on the phone like No, it's part of our job, man. We yeah. Gotta, we gotta show up. You know, yeah, I hear you. Just, you know, all we get was a go back to the building for a removed subject. We don't know if you're irate. We don't know if there's a fight breaking out. We don't know what's going on. So we come to check. Obviously, I pull up. You're outside. So technically, you're not in the building anymore. So I don't need to, we don't need to remove you. So yeah. He's just going to go inside, figure out, you know, what's going on. There. Yeah, so I'm going to go back inside, too. I want to see what's going on, too, because I don't want to. Doesn't make so sense. My name's Sean, sir. Just Sean. Sean. The deputies explained things to the clerk and then had one more friendly and humorous conversation with Reyes. What kind of car you rent? Oh, uh, Lincoln. A Lincoln? Yeah. All right. There you go. Be on the lookout for a Lincoln now. <laughs> the deputies left and did not come back. Word apparently spread quickly through the government building that a polite auditor was inside exercising his constitutional rights and that those rights needed to be respected. Kudos to Sean Paul Reyes Long Island Audit for his enlightening and kind approach, as always. Kudos also to Geary County Deputies Garcia and Umac for staying calm. As for Geary County Clerk Nordic and Deputy Huzar, your arrogance and entitlement has all the hallmarks of Karenicity. And whether you are a clerk Karen or a cop Karen, 
It's embarrassing and stands out. Remember, the Constitution matters, even in Kansas. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.